mathematics is the most beautiful and most powerful creation of the human spirit. On 22nd December 2012, the former Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, paid tribute to the great mathematician Srinivas Ayanga Ramanujan on his 125th birth anniversary and declared his birthday 22nd December as National Mathematics Day. The day offers us an occasion to remember the tradition of excellence. He had made remarkable contributions in various fields of mathematics and its branches. Srinivas Ramanujan was born on 22nd December 1887 in Erod, Tamil Nadu. An Indian mathematician born to change the future of maths. The main objective behind the celebration of National Mathematics Day is to raise awareness among people about the importance of mathematics for the development of humanity. Square roots are used in many places in daily life and one of its applications is the Pythagorean spirals. Pythagorean spirals can be found in nature in many forms. It is a spiral composed of connecting right triangles. It is used to prove that all non-square integers from 3 to 17 are irrational. The spiral is started with an isosceles right triangle with each leg having unit length. Another right triangle is formed with one leg being the hypotenuse of the first triangle and the other leg having unit length. The process is then repeated and we get the Pythagorean spiral. has the role in education of helping children become like themselves instead of more like anyone else. This is a famous quote which shows the importance of integrating art forms with our studies. Here I have tried to integrate an art form with mathematical application. This is a hand embroidery work demonstrating Pythagorean spiral. The Pythagorean spiral is stitched onto a cloth using chain knots and made more attractive by using golden beads. Through such activities, we can learn mathematics in a more interesting way by integrating our favorite art form with the subject. The topic of coding maths as a part of art integration is Warley art. Warley art is a style of tribal art mostly created by the tribal people from North Sahyadri range in Maharashtra, India. This tribal art was originated in Maharashtra where it is still practiced today. When I just gave us this topic, I taught to do it a little more creatively. That's how I taught to do a wall hang. I made this with cardboard and I painted it. Then I drew and colored it with sketch pens. Finally, I decorated it with tassels and beads. The mathematics involved in this wall art is circles, triangles and line segments. Thank you.
Varli art has been widely used in the lifestyle sector even though it has been a traditional art from brightly colored umbrellas to coffee mugs teacups plastic wall clocks accent for walls and stationery Varli is pretty much everywhere Varli has also been an inspiration to fashion designers from adorning the borders of colorful scarves and kurtis to embellishing the luxurious jute and silk sarees Varli has taken over the ramp for good Today I'll be introducing my maths activity that is the Varli art painting The Varli art painting is related to the tribal culture of ancient india this art includes all types of mathematical shapes in it for this i have used a set of acrylic paints some cotton and a plain bottle first i coated the base bottle with a lemon yellow color after that using some cotton i made orange impressions all over the bottle When the paint dries, draw the volley art on it. This is a simple activity and don't forget to try it. This is the overview of my work. Modulo art. It is the art of mathematics and designs. It uses number patterns formed by modular arithmetic to create unique and artistically pleasing designs. We have done this as an art integration for mathematics to exhibit our talents and creativities. Modulo art designs have been widely used in the fashion industry to add on sarees, kurtis, etc. Interior designers also make use of this art. Various sculptures, wall paintings and public spotlights show a display of this art.